animals in our care. You'll see firsthand how we train and how animal participation contributes to their health and well-being. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's get a big round of applause for our training team. Awesome people out there today. Starting over here on the left side island, we have Andrew. <laughs> on center island, we see Morris. <laughs> and over here on the right side, say hello to Elizabeth. <laughs> okay, so the trainers just blew their training whistles, and that tells me and the blue the whales that we're ready to go. We're going to start today's show by talking about how the training process begins. To do that, please focus your attention on the center island. That's where you'll see Morris working with Miki. Miki is a five-year-old boy whale born right here at Shedd Aquarium. Now, before any training can take place, we first have to build a relationship between the animal and the trainer. Let's look in on how Morris is doing this. <laughs> A very nice hug, some delicious food like herring and squid, a tickle. <laughs> we're doing fun stuff that the whale enjoys because we're building a good, friendly, trusting relationship with him. Now that that's started, we can teach him the important sound of our training whistles. Now, to these whales, that whistle sound means thank you and good job, but how do they know that? Let's listen in on how Morris uses her whistle. Whistle followed by nice applause. Whistle followed by a tasty fish. Whistle followed by another tickle. So by always following that whistle with something nice or fun or tasty, it's not long before the animal puts it together. Hey, that whistle sound means thank you and good job. Okay, now we're gonna move on to a very simple but super important game called targeting. Now the object of this game is for the whale to touch his head to a target. And when we start this game, the very first target we use is the trainer's hand. So watch how Morris teaches this game. She puts her hand on the whale's head, blows the whistle, and follows that with a treat. Head touch, whistle, a fun splash. Head touch, whistle, a <laughs> cheer. So we're having fun just touching the whale's head right now, and we're teaching him the point of the game. Now that he knows how to play this game, let's challenge him. What do you think will happen? Instead of having our trainer put her hand down on the whale's head, what if we asked Morris to hold her hand over Mickey's head? Let's see if he figures it out. Beautiful! <laughs> Mickey can now find our target anywhere we put it. Up high, to the side, underwater. We can even <laughs> use tools and toys to extend our reach, like that red target buoy Morris now has. We can even send the target to totally new places. Morris just gave a hand signal asking Mickey to find a new target. Morris isn't giving a target this time, but on the right side, Laura is. And Miki finds her no problem. Laura says thank you with a fish before giving that same hand signal, asking Miki to find a new target. Back at Center Island, Morris slaps the water. Beluga whales have excellent underwater hearing. So Miki has no problem at all finding her. You can see how this super simple head touching game has now turned into a way for us to ask the whales to find us in different places. Now folks, all of this training is all built on relationship building. So next up, we'd like to show you one of the super fun and beautiful ways we work to maintain and build those relationships. We're going to be asking two of our trainers today, Tim and Lana, to jump into the water. They're going to be working eye to eye with the beluga whales. Ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy watching our trainers, Tim and Lana, as they work with the whales in their work.
Finding food in the wild. All right, let's get a round of applause for the whale. 